Hey everybody, welcome back. So, today's backyard project is going to be fencing. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five, and a sixth piece of anywhere between a 10 foot to 12 foot by four foot pallets that I got from a friend of mine. And so I'm gonna use these for fencing. We're gonna to get to it. So for this project, we've got a circular saw, we've got a drill, gloves, locate some post hole diggers, probably borrow that from a neighbor, and then go get some uh, expanding foam so I can have these posts set exactly where I want them. These things are extremely heavy. They are made of solid wood. Uh, the company I got them from does a lot of roofing and things come in on these pallets and they're all like metal stout things. So yeah, I've got uh, no issue with it being sturdy, sturdy enough figure out exactly how to how to mount it up something like this and I'll probably just take the screw screw it in right here after I get it pulled over this way and a bit on the leveled side while I'm in the midst of thinking about it uh, I looked all over the internet for ideas about how to make fences out of pallets and I stumbled across the do-it-yourself world. I'll put this in the description below the link. He's got a super simple way to do it. He's got, he's not using these big long ones, heavy ones like I am. He's using the regular pallets and how he does it is honestly, it's two, two zips of the saw and you know, you're, you're, you're cutting off the corners of the tops to make your, your pickets and it looks wonderful and pretty. And mine's not going to look like that, but wanted to thank him real quick just for the idea. All right, guys. So what we did is we put in these uh, tomato stakes, short ones, here and here in front of each of these new ones. And I'm going to uh, secure them after I get everything all straightened to the boards here to give them a little bit more extra support. I didn't do it on the corner because... I'm gonna put a, one of my spare beams from one of the pallets, I'm gonna cannibalize right there so I can use that to, to screw in on the corners. But to help these things here, we're going to do this. I'm also gonna come through and put some two by two or some other uh, two by four or something like this, two by three from here to here to also give it some extra stability as well. Especially since these don't match up very well. I think it looks good so far. All right, so we've got the almost completed project. We have it from this side, and it goes all the way over to there. So we are at the point of this project. I've got my board, I've got my two by two, or not my two by two, I've got my, my, my landscaping timber trued out how I want it to be and went to the big box store and got this uh, Sika post fix. And it's time to mix this stuff up. Called my bro, what's up bro? And he gave me some pointers on this. So we are going to uh, give this a go. He had said if I wanted to, to put some blue tape 
around here and that way if I was worried about it being discolored I can just peel the tape off and I was like like paint and he was like yeah sure so we're going to all right mix this for exactly 12 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then we are going to pour that in here and I think it's doing it yep it's doing it we're gonna get you close because here it comes so I poured the whole contents in there and I didn't think I did it right at all come over here Hadley take a look at this Hi. and watch this it is just uh, that's way out of focus way to go me Move this. Check it out. It is just a foaming up and out. That's crazy. Look at that. It's still coming out. This stuff's super amazing. It's really, really tacky and sticky, and it's got this rice crispy sound quality to it as it's doing its thing. Oh, it's getting harder. Cue that that's what she said. I've had enough for day number one. We've got the entire fence up, and instead of a gate, I decided I took the one of my cattle panel fences and just kind of stuck it right here. We've cut down our post, and this bad boy is almost immovable now. Yeah, that's it for me. You guys keep your hands dirty, keep your minds at ease, and we will see you on the next one. If you like what you saw, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up if you like it, Thumbs down if you don't, doesn't really matter. It's not about you, it's about me. That's about everybody. Okay, bye.